Hello everybody, it's me Veronica and welcome back to my channel if you are new, welcome! Today I am doing a not K-pop unboxing but it's still an unboxing for me because this camera I'm shooting on is the Canon G7X Mark II and for a while I wanted to upgrade to a better camera so I was like trying to find a buyer for this camera and trying to find a good deal for a new camera so it's just yeah I found a camera that I really liked the specs look good so I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna buy it. And it was cheaper to buy it in a kit rather than just the standard camera. So I, I got the creator kit for the Canon M50 and I'm planning on buying another external lens. So I might include that unboxing footage at the end of this video if it arrives in time as well, just to see the upgraded quality. Right now I'm shooting on just the Canon G7X Mark II, no external mic or whatever. Usually I use an another microphone off to the side just to have better audio but the Canon M50 is supposed to have a, a mic jack so I thought it might be better for my lazy ass self who doesn't like to edit and sync up audio to have better audio built in so yeah just gonna show you guys <laughs> I already unboxed like the outer box because it was pretty dinged up. But yeah, so this one is the Canon M50. Let me just take out the receipt. The Canon M50 Creator Kit. It cost 800 Canadian dollars. Honestly, it's the same price if you don't get the Creator Kit, if you just get the camera and the kit lens. But this one comes with like an extra microphone and an SD card that I'm probably never gonna use because it's not the best quality, but yeah. So I'm gonna unbox this. I'm gonna see how it works and then I'm going to test out some footage and insert it here. I ramble on too much, so yeah, we're gonna open it like this. Hopefully this will give me better unboxing video quality and just overall better video quality. Over here is the SD card that it's only 32 gigs. Like what am I gonna do with 32 gigs? The one that I usually use is like 128 and that's not even that much money. So 32 gigs is like $5 worth of memory card. There's there we go. First thing out of this cardboard insert is the Rode Video Mic Go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this goes on the top. I'm not a camera expert, so if you're like a tech guru watching this and cringing at me, please forgive me because I'm not that familiar with like camera stuff despite having cameras for a while. But yeah, here's the actual camera. The Canon M50 with what is the mill for the kit lens with a 15 to 45 ISSDM lens which is the kit lens the lens that I really want to get for the M50 is the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 or 1.8 it's it's a one point something it's a fast lens but that that's the goal hopefully I can sell this camera soon and upgrade the lens but this is just like the kit lens there's like manuals and stuff so I'm gonna take that off for a quick second the box gives you a lot of stuff like look at that there is the I think this is a neck strap neck strap is this the lens it's safely bubble wrap so here's the lens I'm trying to be very gentle. That's why I'm on my bed, just in case if anything drops, it's on a soft surface. If I did this in my dining room, then I can't guarantee the safety of my things. But yeah, here's like the Canon kit lens and it's just like that. Over here is the battery, which I'm going to put in the camera right away. I don't know if it's fully charged. Half the time, batteries come like half charged. I don't know. Oh, and then another compartment. Here's like the charger for the battery. I don't think I'm gonna use this. I'm going to purchase aftermarket batteries that can charge more than one battery at a time. That's what I did with my G7X Mark II. And honestly, that works out better, but I'm also looking forward to trying to get an AC adapter for the M50, so I don't need batteries. Ooh, this is tiny. Like, if I were to compare it to my G7X, it's a little bit bulkier, but it's it's tiny. I, I used to have a Canon Rebel T3i before having the Canon G7X Mark II, and that was chunky that was like double the size of this but this is like this is tiny and it has the flippy out screen so i can like make sure i'm in frame 
on switch where's other <laughs> it's right there Ooh. Ooh. okay so i'm gonna have to set up the date the time the time zone um so i'm gonna set this up and then i'm going to start shooting on this so right now canon g7x mark ii this one's the m50 i'm gonna be shooting the next part of the footage on here okay so this is on the canon m50 i had to charge the battery up for a few minutes because it was really really low it wasn't half charged out of the box so that's that's one thing to be aware of so i'm going to unbox this uh rode video mic go i don't know if this is the best out of all of the rode microphones but it's something and at least i don't have to buy one like right away there are so many things i need to buy like right away for this camera like a screen protector extra batteries ac adapter etc 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 but at least i don't have to buy a microphone right now I'm afraid this camera might run out of battery because I only charged it for like five minutes just to get some juice to see what the video looks like. But I think the autofocus is pretty good compared to the G7X, which sometimes takes a little bit of time if I move too fast or if I'm in low light, it takes quite a while to focus. But I'm gonna open it like this. So here's like the microphone and then here's for like the, the shoe cold shoe I don't know what it's called the thing at the top that you connect stuff to and here's like the stringy majiggy microphone jack thing I'm assuming you can put it in the microphone this cable either way so I'm going to turn this off plug this in put on the settings for like a gain input and stuff and then I'm gonna see what it sounds like with the microphone on compared to just standard camera audio yeah. Okay, so here is it with the Rode microphone on the top on the shoe, cold shoe. I think it's called the cold shoe. Um, so I'm just going to see how this sounds compared to, you know, the G7X Mark II audio and the standard Canon M50 audio. Let's see how it looks zooming in. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. It... it it basically zooms in on every pore. Uh, we don't want that. We don't want that. We really don't want that. But, yeah. This, some high quality shit I got here. Well, I'm going to switch over to my Sigma lens if I have it already. Okay, so it's been a couple days. Um, I ordered it off of Amazon, but I got it. My Sigma 16mm f1.4 for the Canon EFM lens. Right now I'm shooting without the Rode mic extension thing. I'm just shooting with the regular camera microphone because the audio on the Rode microphone, I looked back on post. I don't really like it. I'm so... Yeah, I'm gonna unbox this real quick and then shoot some footage just to see what it looks like because like I've, I've been hearing so many good things about the, these Sigma lenses. So anyways, in here there's just a bunch of manuals, warranty information. So in here, it's like an egg carton. I'm gonna slide that out. I'm on my bed so nothing's gonna fall on the floor. That's it, there's nothing else in here. This is a, a heavy ass lens. It's huge. Like compared to the kit lens, this is like, I would say maybe a third taller and way heavier. But um, I'm guessing this is the lens hood. Comes with a lens hood. Good for being in bright locations. And then here's the lens itself. This is a prime lens, so it doesn't zoom in. So I'm guessing that this is just the manual focus ring. I'm not going to be relying on manual focus a lot, um, maybe for photography, but for video, I am not. So I'm just going to attach this 16 millimeter 1.4 Sigma lens onto my Canon M50, and I'll be right back. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so I have it just at the standard settings right now. Yeah, like I don't have any white balance or special ISOs on. I have like it on auto. Hmm, if I get really close, will like the background be very blurry? I'm not sure. Do I like this better than the kit lens? Let's put that up to debate. From what I can see, this is a wider lens. It shows more of my background, so I have to be very cognizant of what I have in my background. Like if I'm if I have like a laundry lying around, I have to be very aware. I don't know, if I get real close, like if arm's length, yeah, 
I think this would be like a good vlogging lens, but it's very heavy, it's very it's big, it's bulky, but the focal length and like the width of the of what you can see is a lot more. It says 1.4 aperture, maybe maybe I need to focus and like tinker with the settings. So I'll do that right now and try to use a 1.4 aperture. So I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I had to kind of look around. I think you can't shoot in auto, you have to shoot in manual for it to change the aperture and stuff. So right now I'm shooting on f1.4 and as you can see, it's a little bit more blurry in the background. I think I need to be a little bit more close up for everything to be really blown out back here. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't zoom in. I would have to do that in post, but I think this is a lens that I'm going to stick with because it costs so much money. So I'm going to just play around with this and hopefully film more stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys soon. <laughs>